You ever wonder what's actually in all the food that you eat uh, day in and day out? Well, Republican Senator Ron Johnson led a roundtable discussion with health experts and activists to, to find out. Our government is letting U.S. food companies get away with serving American citizens harmful ingredients that are banned or heavily regulated in other countries. This is Skittles. Notice the long list of ingredient differences. 10 artificial dyes in the U.S. version and titanium dioxide. This ingredient is banned in Europe because it can cause DNA damage. Artificial dyes are made from petroleum and products containing these dyes require a warning label in Europe. We use over 10,000 food additives here in the United States and in Europe. There's only 400 approved. This is the brightness of the Canadian version, just for, for visibility. And this is the brightness of artificial food dyes. So, of course, Kellogg and other food companies will argue children prefer this over this, just as they would prefer cocaine over sugar. <laughs> it doesn't make it okay. <laughs> Cocaine over sugar for the kids. I don't know. That titanium dioxide sounds pretty tasty, though. I think it might make you strong like bull. Uh, Left-wing media outlets are already choosing which side they're on, as you might expect. The Atlantic magazine mocking and downplaying the event with their new headline reading, The Woo Woo Caucus Meets. The Woo Woo Caucus uh, Meets. Uh, how close-minded of them, honestly. Uh, now, Matthew Foldy. Uh, I know you love um, titanium dioxide, isn't it? And uh, you like all kinds of things that make you strong like bull, and, and you like your food to be colorful. Is that right? I uh, totally agree that those Fruit Loops look way better with all of the colors in them. And I think, I, listen, I'm an American, and I think we do basically everything better uh, here than in Europe. The one concession that I'll give them here is their fast food options for vegetarians like myself in Europe are far better. Other than that, though, listen, like, I want Skittles to be, like, if you're eating a Skittle, you're obviously not expecting this to be, you know, a strawberry or whatever. I think this is obviously an important issue. There is, like, a lot of weird stuff that goes in our food. I agree. I think it's an important issue. Obviously, RFK Jr. is trying to kind of get these kind of healthy-minded voters, of which I am obviously not one. We know my diet consists mostly of Taco Bell and Diet Dr. Pepper. But that is, you know, a constituency. Uh, oh, you've been in, to the border. In America. I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I had actually really good Mexican food in the border. But I think that's what they're focusing on here. Now, I'm not the target audience here, but that is a very large constituency in America. I, I feel really strongly about this because okay. having, you know, five daughters uh, and finding french fries in Matt's car sometimes from McDonald's. Um, it's not true, actually. Well, before. Yeah. Before. He but probably this, ate I, all of them because like, they're so delicious. What, look, the mere, the, the mere fact is you've got 40% of these school-aged children that at least have one, you know, are, one chronic health condition. I right. mean, this is serious. You see an obesity problem in the United States, and the, and the food industry is really polluting our kids. I mean, mm -hmm. and I think it's why you're seeing more and more parents, more moms waking up to the Robert F. Kennedy Jr. message about make America healthy again. Yeah. Uh, you know, you've seen these mental health issues that have come out dealing with kids and the, and all the sugar and all the chemicals that's put mm -hmm. into it. I think, I actually think this is a really Let me jump in on this. Issue. You know, we, we go around the world and we see these people like come back to America, like we have an obesity explosion over there. You go all over the world, doesn't matter what continent it is. And they seem to have found this balance. So I would agree I don't want big government coming in and making a bunch of crazy new policies. But how about transparency to the people? And the problem with your analogy between skills and the strawberries, they're also screwing up the strawberries.